Hey guys, welcome to day 5 of 30 days of Laravel. Today we are going to talk about query scopes. Um, to give you guys an example, we have here three posts on our database. And you can see that the first one doesn't have an URL, while the second one and the third one have an URL. Now, if we were to get all the posts without an URL, what we used to do is post or no URL get. And if we want to get all the posts uh, with an URL, we can use we're not no. Um, this, is a com this is a simple case. You have way more complex cases. But sometimes it's a good idea to use query scopes to make the code easier to read and when you have complex uh, queries to encapsulate those into, into those methods. Uh, with a query scope, this would look something like has URL for the ones that have an URL and post doesn't have URL or I don't know, without URL and get. So uh, let's go into our post model under models, post. And to create a query scope, you just have to create a function, a method that starts with scope and then the name of the scope in camel case. So in this case, um, it has URL like this, and we have to pass the parameter called query, and then we are good to go. So we're going to get a, a builder instance here, a query builder instance, and we can just do the same things that we did here inside this method. Laravel is going to call it for us. So I can say return, were not no um, URL and then you can create one for scope no is it no URL without without URL passing the query and say word no URL so I'm going to refresh sinker here and if we call it, we get it. And if we call it without URL, we get it as well. And you can use anything here. You can pass parameters as well. So uh, for instance, let's say we, I don't know. Let's say we, we want to, let me think. Let's say we want to do a title like, um, so we pass a query and we pass the title. So let's add a scope here, scope title like. So we want to fetch posts that has that have a title that looks like something. Um, so we could do something like query, where, title, like, and then we can do all of that crap like this. So instead of having to write this, you can just call the query scope like this. So we can save post. Let's fetch all of the posts first. So I want all the posts that look like Google. So maybe something like uh, title, like, let's say Goo, and get. And you can see that I got Google, or let's say some, and I got some title. So it's much more readable than having this mess here. And if you happen to use the same constraints in different places, instead of having to rewrite this, you can just call the query scope like this. And this is also chainable, so uh, I could do, let me say, where URL equals https google.com and then chain it. So it, it works just like uh, a real eloquent method and you can chain it just fine. You can call whichever method you want after that. You can count. Um, so it works normally it's just a very good way to encapsulate your code and make things easier to read so i hope you guys like this lesson and i see you tomorrow make sure to follow me on twitter and to subscribe to the youtube channel bye bye see you later